Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some exciting SpaceX news. Many of us have been following SpaceX closely, especially because of their incredible Starship rocket. When skeptics doubted Elon Musk and thought this rocket would never launch, we stood by SpaceX. When they finally launched Starship for the first time, it felt like a victory for all of us. Now, as we eagerly await the next Starship launch, SpaceX has just announced the launch date, and the excitement is building again. Before we get into all the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on Starship and other groundbreaking SpaceX achievements. To recap, SpaceX has already conducted three orbital test flights, two in 2023 and one in 2024. Now, they are gearing up for the next big launch, and it seems like they're ready to go. Elon Musk even shared a video on Twitter of Starship fully stacked and ready. If they get the launch license from the FAA, we might see the rocket take off as early as the end of this month. But this launch will be quite different from the previous ones. For the fourth launch, Musk mentioned they aim to pass through the high heating phase and then splash down in the ocean at a controlled location. SpaceX plans to launch the Super Heavy Starship into orbit and attempt a controlled ocean landing hovering over a specific point until it runs out of fuel and descends. This method has many advantages, similar to how they practiced landing the Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship, which took several tries before they perfected it. So, why isn't SpaceX aiming to land Starship on a drone ship this time? Landing rockets is one of the trickiest parts of any mission, especially with bigger rockets like Starship. The Falcon 9, for example, stands at 70 meters tall with a diameter of 3.7 meters and a mass of about 549 tons. It generates around 7.6 million newtons of thrust with its nine Merlin engines. Landing the Falcon 9 took multiple attempts to get just right, ensuring it touched down gently without tipping over. The Falcon Heavy, which combines three Falcon 9 boosters, is even more complex. It stands at 70 meters tall with a diameter of 3.7 meters, and its first stage has three boosters that need to land safely. The combined thrust of Falcon Heavy's 27 Merlin engines is a whopping 22.8 million newtons, making the landing process highly challenging. Now, let's consider the Starship. This rocket, including its Super Heavy booster, stands at 120 meters tall, has a diameter of 9 meters, and a mass of about 5,000 tons. It generates an enormous 72 million newtons of thrust with its 33 Raptor engines. The sheer size and power of Starship make landing exponentially harder. The Super Heavy booster alone is as tall as the entire Falcon Heavy rocket. Starship's payload capacity is also impressive. While the Falcon 9 can carry up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit, Starship can carry up to 150,000 kg to low Earth orbit and more than 21,000 kg to geostationary transfer orbit. This far exceeds the Falcon Heavy's capacity of up to 63,800 kg to low Earth orbit when fully expended. However, with these capabilities comes the challenge of landing such a massive structure. SpaceX isn't just going to drop the rocket into the ocean, they'll perform several tests first. One of these is the belly flop maneuver, where the spacecraft flips over and re-enters the Earth's atmosphere belly first, like a skydiver. This maneuver allows for a controlled descent and landing. To practice this, SpaceX will splash down Starship in the sea. The orbital landing test flights didn't start with straight up and down paths like the first prototype tests, they were much tougher, flying sideways at full orbital speed. SpaceX carefully chose to land the Super Heavy booster in the Gulf of Mexico to ensure that any debris would fall safely into the water if something went wrong. The final splashdown point is safely located in the Indian Ocean, ensuring human safety and increasing Starship's success rate. The belly flop maneuver uses the spacecraft's large surface area to create drag, slowing down its descent without much fuel. The Starship has a vast surface area of 545 square meters on its windward side, acting like a brake during descent. The engines draw propellant from header tanks to avoid fuel settling on the belly side due to atmospheric deceleration, ensuring a steady fuel supply during descent. SpaceX avoids catching Starship Midair with Mechazilla to protect the ground infrastructure. 
Starship is still experimental, and more tests are needed before attempting a Madeir capture. The launch infrastructure includes vital components like the launch tower, fueling systems, and control centers, all crucial for safe rocket launches. Any damage to this infrastructure could be costly. Now, for the big news, the fourth flight is scheduled for Saturday, June 1st, according to a new road closure notice. This announcement has everyone buzzing with excitement. SpaceX always has multiple missions in the works, ensuring a steady launch cadence. As they prepare for the fourth Starship test flight with Ship 29 and Booster 11, they're also working on prototypes for future tests. For the fourth test flight, they're using Ship 29 stacked on Booster 11. For the fifth flight, SpaceX is preparing Ship 30 and Booster 12. Ship 30, equipped with six Raptor engines, is in Mega Bay 2, while Booster 12 is getting its engines installed in Mega Bay 1. The sixth test flight will involve Ship 31 and Booster 13, with Ship 31 undergoing recent repairs and tests to ensure its readiness. You might think SpaceX always faces challenges with their Starship rockets, but remember, this is the first rocket of its kind. SpaceX is learning and improving through these tests. While developing smaller rockets like the Falcon 9 and even the larger Falcon Heavy was faster, Starship's development is more complex due to its unique design as a fully reusable, super-heavy lift launch vehicle. Compared to NASA's Saturn V and the Space Launch System, Starship stands out with its height of 120 meters and a diameter of 9 meters. It's designed to carry up to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit in its reusable configuration and up to 250 metric tons in an expendable version. This capacity is a game-changer for space exploration. As we await the fourth Starship launch, remember that each launch builds on the last. Ship 29 and Booster 11 are in their final preparations at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The Super Heavy Booster recently completed a successful static fire test on April 5, 2024, with all 33 Raptor engines ignited while anchored to the ground. Ship 29 also underwent tests, including a static fire test on March 25, 2024, where all six Raptor engines were fired. The timeline for the fourth flight is ambitious, aiming for a launch as early as the end of this month. However, they still need a launch license modification from the FAA due to the ongoing investigation into the March 14 flight. That mission reached orbital velocity before experiencing an explosion during re-entry. Despite this, it achieved new milestones, flying for nearly 50 minutes and performing complex maneuvers. What's exciting about this upcoming flight is Musk's plan to land the Super Heavy booster using a virtual tower concept in the ocean. This innovative approach simulates the Mechazilla Tower, which SpaceX plans to use for future landings. The booster will aim to land at a specific point in the ocean, simulating docking with a virtual tower, with arms designed to catch it. This concept is Musk's unique idea to save fuel and simplify the recovery process. The Mechazilla system involves a launch tower equipped with large robotic arms to catch the Super Heavy booster as it returns from space. Traditional rocket landings require significant fuel for the landing burn, but catching the booster with a tower can save fuel and speed up the recovery process. The robotic arms aim to grab the booster by its grid fins, ensuring a safe and quick turnaround for the next mission. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.